Well, it looks like Christmas came early for Astra users. I am going to show you in this video how to use this brand new feature, which is Mega Menus. And a lot of people have been wanting Mega Menus. I'm going to show you how to use it in this video. And I'm also going to show you some of the considerations of using it and how a mobile device factors into it. We're going to do it all in this video. Actually, let me just jump in. I'm so excited. Let me show you uh, Mega Menus really quick. So I got this site set up up and you can see right there oh it's already popping up so I have this menu item here when you hover over it you get this mega menu popping up right here and then someone can choose uh, what they want really you're gonna use mega menus to make it a lot easier for your website visitors to get to the information that they're looking for and trying to reduce any frustration that they might have in trying to find what they're looking for on your website that's why in this example I had it so when you hover over classes right here, you're going to get some options there. And this right here is made with a page builder. So we're going to go over all of this in this video. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make WordPress tutorial videos for non-techies. If you're new here, consider clicking on the subscribe button and then click on the notification bell to not miss any videos that I upload. YouTube will let you know when I do. All right, so this is Astra. It's a feature in Astra Pro. It's the paid add-on for the free Astra theme and uh, if you don't have it you can visit wpcrafter.com slash Astra actually if you did go there and you purchased it I have a free training course on Astra that I give you for free after you purchase it just to make your transition into using the theme help you get the most out of it so mega menus a new feature however it is only in beta right now so after you purchase Astra if you don't have it or if you already have Astra you're going to need to go to the downloads area right here and here's the beta version 1.5 of the theme and you'll also need the beta version of the add-on plugin which is version 1.6 I've gone ahead and upload the, uploaded those to my website now the content that you see here in this mega menu it is just a saved template from Elementor sitting in my Elementor library. I believe you'll also be able to just as easily as I did this, do it for Beaver Builder. So, okay, once you have gone ahead and uploaded the beta version of the theme and of the plugin, what you need to do is actually enable the Mega Menu feature. So, if you don't have any interest in Mega Menus and you're using the latest version and it has that feature, if you don't have it activated, it doesn't slow down your site one bit. It's there if you need it, and if you don't, you just don't activate it. So, I'm gonna go to Appearance and then I'm gonna go right here to Astra options and right here there's the new option that's gonna say nav menu that's what you're gonna want to go ahead and activate obviously I've already activated it here so next thing you're gonna want to do is create what you want in that mega menu and so you can see I've already gone ahead and done that here what I did is I went to Elementor my templates and I created a new template and it's right here it's named classes so if I go ahead let me actually Actually just go in there real quick and I'm going to do an edit with Elementor so you can see right here I just have that section that I used for the mega menu and it's right here I'm gonna leave this up because we're gonna to have to tweak it to make it more mobile responsive okay so let me go back into the back end of WordPress let me show you how to add the menu item and then assign this template and have a little bit of control over the various behaviors so you're gonna to go to appearance and then you're gonna to go to menus this is standard WordPress stuff and and then we have it here this is the one I created let me go ahead and just create a brand new one underneath it so the first thing you're gonna want to do is create the parent link and so you saw in the example it's classes so the what I would suggest is you click right here it says custom links expand that for the URL just put the pound sign and then put whatever text you want to be in the menu so this time I just chose a different word sessions so I'm gonna click to add to menu and it's gonna go ahead and add sessions right down here here, and then we're going to make a second one which is going to represent our content so just for me to have some sanity when I'm back here I'm going to choose the phrase sessions content so I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to create a custom link I'm going to 
to put a hashtag and then for the text I'm going to put sessions content but that label's not going to be shown anywhere it's more of a back end thing okay there it is sessions content I'm going to click add to menu so now what you're going to see is I have sessions and sessions content now what I need to do is drag sessions content underneath sections sessions you saw how I just dragged it off to the right ever so slightly now it is a child to this menu item so this is what's going to show and when it's hovered this is what's going to pop up so what I need to do is click on this right arrow here and expand my options and the first thing I'm going to do is click on enable mega menu and then I'm going to click right here where it says disable link now it doesn't matter because the link is just this pound key but I'm going to check on that anyway so, so no one can click on the menu item. And then I'm going to click right here where it says Astra Menu Settings. So this is where you can have full control over the mega menu settings. So first is the width. Is it just going to be the width of the content area or a full width? on the screen it's up to you and then you have control over the the text links and the hover links and all of this kind of stuff you can put a background image now let me just stop here for a moment and let you know what I'm doing is I think it's just easier if you're using a page builder to build the content of that mega menu to just build it in your page builder you have full layout control and visual control over it but you don't have to so you could go through here and go through these steps and create uh, a series of menu links and you can even put interesting little badges off to the side of it if that interests you in this video I'm just going to really show you how to do it with the page builder but in the video description box I'll put a link to the instructions on the and their knowledge base for the this new mega menu feature so a lot of this is if you're not going to use a page builder like I'm doing so we've got background image background size you've got all these different options here and I'm not using any of them so I'm just going to go ahead and click on save so I'm gonna go ahead and collapse that but here's where it's different on this one right here I'm gonna expand it and I'm gonna do the same thing hide menu label and description and then I'm gonna click right here where it says Astra menu settings and I get different options and the first one here is the content default custom text or template so I'm gonna choose template but if you wanted some custom text there you have it you can pop some custom text in there I prefer a template from my Elementor library now you saw earlier I named it classes so I'm gonna click right here and search for classes all right here it is I'll go ahead and click on that and then there's some additional options here if you want it I'll go ahead and click on save and so far this is looking pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and click on save menu and so now now when I go to the front end of the website you will see that I have a new menu item now I this is the old one I did but let me show you how it looks a little different here we have this white frame here and that's because I didn't on this one choose a background color and uh, this is what I have right there and you can see this one is I chose a background color to match the background color of the section here so we'll go ahead and fix that in a moment but you have control over it if you want that it's actually kind of nice to have the lines there so someone can realize something different just popped up but this is just the background color of the men mega menu and let me show you where that was so it's under sessions the parent menu item Astra menu settings and then right here is the background color right here so if I chose something different like black you're gonna see right now let me do a quick save menu you're gonna see that that white color has changed and I'm getting my refresh going and there it is you can see it's black I like it when it just matches the other color instead but you have full control over that okay so here's the problem if I go into the customizer you're gonna see it's not gonna look so great mobile because I didn't optimize that Elementor template for a mobile device so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna jump into that Elementor template and I'm gonna show you some tricks with Elementor to make it look better on a mobile device so here I am in the customizer if I go here and I go there and I click on say classes like this you're gonna see 
you know, it's big. <laughs> it's very big. And uh, people are going to have to scroll. So we probably don't want that. So let's see what we can do about this. So remember over here, I had I left this open. I said we're going to tweak this some. That's what we're going to do right now. So what I was thinking, since we have three items here, I wonder if instead of when I'm looking at it here on a mobile device and we just have one per column, if we actually showed all three in one row, but they were smaller. Let's go ahead and try to do that. It's actually quite simple. So on each of these column settings, I'm going to click right there to go into the column setting. Here it says column width. Now what we're going to want to do is switch this into mobile device settings. So I clicked on this. I'll click on mobile. Here we go. So right here I'm going to do 33 and a third. And you can see it right there. It's shrunk. And so now I'm going to have to do the same thing here. I just clicked on the column settings for this and I'm going to do a 33.3. There we go. And the text looks a little on the big side. I might want to reduce the size of the text as well. So let me go here and do the same thing. 33.3. There we go. Oops. There we go. Dot three. Okay. So, so I've already shrunk it down and the text, I kind of don't like, I don't know. It's big. It's up to you. If you wanted to change the text, we can click on that and then I'm going to go ahead and click on style and then for topography, I'll click on that and let's see if we can get something a little smaller. So maybe we go with, a 18 or something like that. I still think with 18, it's going to take up two lines. So let's see right here. Actually, you know what? We can right click in here and do a copy and then we can right click and we could paste style. Gotta love this new right click paste style. There we go. Uh, but see that takes up two lines there or one line there. Probably don't want that either. So let me go ahead and play around with this just a little bit to just get it just right. Okay, there we go. So maybe, maybe I change this to 20. So let me do a copy. Let me do a paste style here and a paste style here. I would probably reword this uh, if any way possible to try to get it to fit on one line, but it actually looks a lot better. Don't you think this looks a lot better than how we have it right here where they're just so gigantic? Uh, anyway, so I'll go ahead and click on update and then let's go and we'll put this back into desktop mode. So this is desktop and then this is gonna be the mobile device. I like it much better. All right, so let me go ahead and get out of here. And then I'm going to have to refresh the customizer right here. I'm hoping that will work. Let's do a quick refresh and test this out and see if it looks the way we want it to look. It looks good on a mobile device. It's very important to test everything on a mobile device. And that's why I like doing this with an Elementor template because you have better control over how it's going to look on a mobile device. All right, so let's go to mobile and let's go here. Let's click on classes right there. And hey, that looks a lot better. You could probably tighten this up on the top of the bottom there, but you got to admit that does look a lot better than how it was looking just a moment ago, tweaking these mobile settings. And we also tweaked the font size as well. So uh, anyways, this has just been a quick down and dirty easy tutorial on how to implement these mega menus. I was only scratching the surface on what you're able to do, but I really think in a practical sense, I know for me, I'm going to evaluate my website to see how best I can implement um, um, this mega menu concept on my website to make it easier for people to find what they're looking for. But I love the fact that I can create the content of the mega menu inside my page builder where I have full control over the mobile responsiveness and how it's going to look on a mobile device right there. But like I said, you don't have to do it that way. You could put contact forms in there. You can, you can put map apps in there. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff in there. You can do whatever you want in a mega menu now with this add on to Astra Pro. So like I said, if you don't have Astra, visit wpcrafter.com slash Astra. If you do, I'm sure you're excited about this. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video, 
go ahead and consider giving it a thumbs up and remember to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell if you want more Astra related tutorial videos like this. Hey, let me know what you think about mega menus in general and actually if you had any links to some great examples of people using mega menus on their website, I'd love to see that so I can get some inspiration for my website and other people that visit this video can get some inspiration for their website as well. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.